Turn on the torch, light up the flame. Time to melt some glass, my friends. There you are. Here I am to explain, to teach, and create again. Hi. I hope you're having a good day. Welcome to Melting Memories with Lucian Libby. Does that sound like a good name for a, 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 um, a TV, uh, a YouTube show? I hope so. I kind of like it. I'm getting used to the songs and the, and, and, and the things. I finally reached 300 subscribers. All right. <laughs> I'm thumbs upping, but it's going sideways. So you can see it in the camera, right? Hey. Anyway, um, thank you guys. I do appreciate it. I am going to be giving uh, on Wednesday of this week. Uh, I am going to be giving a giveaway. I've got some diacroic glass. Not all of this, but I'm going to give out you know a nice good pinch of it. Uh, to play with and it is borosilicate in base so take that into consideration and I also have one other thing that I was going to see about giving away um, and for the life of me I can't find it at the moment but it's a marble slash bead mold where you can make round marbles and or beads off of it because it actually has a groove for the mandrel that you can spin around okay um, so if it works for you, that's great. And if it doesn't, uh, it's just one of those things that I've had and I've had and not really ever gotten and used well. So, hey, maybe somebody else can get some use out of it. Um, if you're interested, uh, give me a chat up uh, on Facebook and or um, here on YouTube. I'd love to hear from you. And... Uh, Give me some thumbs up and share this video. Tell everybody all about it. Yay! Okay, what I'm going to do right now is... Oops, I broke it. That's the idea. <laughs> That's the one thing in the past I've had a lot of trouble with. In that I never wanted to break a functional piece of glass. Even if it was a beer bottle or even a soda bottle. But I finally got over breaking that functional piece of soda bottle. Which was okay for me. Come on, what's going on that it's not working? Now let's do this. Come on. Why isn't it working? Okay. One more time and then I'll pause and then get it going. Ah! Too much pressure going on. Who knows? Who knows? Okay, I'm going to take... This is the brown bottle. This is brown bottle. I just did a video on making some brown bottle trees, see? And with this, I'm going to make a blue beer bottle. It was one of those premium blue beer... It was in a blue bottle anyway. Probably not the best glass to try to work with. But I'm going to try to work with it anyway. I'm warming it in. This is a cold. This is not a cold weld. That's a good weld there. But I'm going to be warming the whole piece in. Like so. And melting it down. And then I'm going to make a dolphin out of it. Okay. Straight from. You know. Uh, recycled to recycled. It, it, you know make the world greener right <laughs> also if you ever have you know you want to play and experiment without using a whole bunch of expensive colored glass it's one way of doing it but just beware this you will not know the COE of these bottles exactly but you can find out and I will uh, in one of my videos, I did do a COE test. So I'm going to let you or refer you back to that video so that I don't have to keep repeating myself 90,000 times, only 45,000 times, right? <laughs> With other things. But it will give you an idea of whether glass is compatible or not. Right now, I'm going to stretch this out.
and make some rods. Okay, we're moving on in and it's flowing quite nicely. And I'm trying to do this very slowly and methodically. Usually if I do this with Boro, I'd have flattened it out and twisted it up and gotten it going already. But with soft glass, the more bubbles that you flatten out and twist in causes more stress on the lower on the softer glass side. Okay? And yes, this is not coming out as straight as I want it at the moment, but it will do the job. I'm only going to be making little things out of it. And if you make little things about the size less than your thumbnail, just to practice and play, if you put it in your vermiculite very quickly, you probably could save more than you think. I didn't learn about vermiculite until well into my borosilicate days. But vermiculite is a, a wonderful thing to have. And uh, if you have a crock pot that you can put that vermiculite in to keep it warmer, that's a good thing too. Okay, so that the vermiculite will slow the cooling process and less chance of it cracking and stressing and breaking on you. Sound good? Sounds good to me. Wow, isn't that cool? <laughs> Just the way it looks. Okay, I'm going to leave that one on this end and I'm going to add a cold weld here. Not a cold weld, but a weld here so that I can hold on to it. And here in the middle, I'm going to make, let's see, what could I make out of this? I haven't done a seahorse in a while. Let's try that. Okay. I'm going to make the main round of a body there. Right about there. Done. And let it sort of round into itself a little bit. Then, when you put two pieces of glass together, make sure that they're fused together well. You do not want to make them two pieces of glass stuck together. You want them to be one piece of glass, and especially with soft glass. You do not want it to... Oh, that's a cool twist and swirl. Okay, touch, pull, touch, pull, fire polish as you go, touch, pull, ah, that's not going to last, so I'm going to, if I had even a finer flame, I could probably even do some finer details, but I know I can, matter of fact, I am going to, this is in, intriguing me to go back, especially what I've seen lately in um, some of the, the posts and torch talk with what they're doing with soft glass, unbelievable. The size that you can get out of it, the miniaturization that you can go for, uh, and just the colors and variations. And it's neat stuff. Okay. This might survive and it might not. I talked to you about having vermiculite handy. And I don't have any ready to go. <laughs> okay. Best thing when you're doing a soft glass piece, try not to go back. Always work forward the second you go back. But if you warm it all in, you could probably go back a little easier, but the best thing to do is boom, boom, boom. Always have the plan of what you want to do and always go forward, okay? You go back and that's where stress happens and it can crack and break. Ooh, I forgot about the loop to hold it on the seahorse with. Now I'm going to put a loop, and I'm going to put a double loop on it later. Just because I can. Now, the quality of the, this 
blue glasses already causing problems and deficulation, which means that it's wrinkling on the surface. I'm going to try to fire polish some of it out, but with not knowing where the glass comes from doesn't help. I mean, I know where it came from, but not working with this type of glass before doesn't help. I just know a little bit of the nature of the beast. I know approximately what it, I can get away with. And if you know some of the, the parameters and factors of your work, I mean your, your material, that helps. Whoa! Came right off the old weld that I had there at the bottom. Fire polish. And I'm going to let that go for right now. Now! Play just a little bit. Yes, yeah, it's just exploding a little bit. That's fine. You are your weakest link. You're missing... I, I don't know. I'm going to do... Sort of inspired at the moment. To add to this... I should go ahead and stop, matter of fact I will, and put this on the next video. But I'm going to make some cobalt blue chain links. Thank you for watching. Enjoy your day.